much.
Yeah, but summer and uh, we're having a great time we're traveling all around West Virginia we're playing concerts we're competing in fiddle contests we're teaching music camps we just got back from a wonderful camp called Allegheny Echoes in Pocahontas County so we stayed up till four in the morning jamming last night in the parking lot of the uh, Marlington Motor in there on 219 and um, yeah, we had a good time. We like to play old time music, the traditional music of Appalachia. And uh, <clears throat> that's our roots. That's the music that we, we got into together collectively. And um, Tessa over here is a master of old time fiddling. And she uh, competed in the West Virginia Fiddle State Championship this year and took home the blue ribbon. She wanted to let me know it's actually the last three she won too, so. But she's too humble to say that herself on mic, so. Um. So we're gonna play an old-time West Virginia tune. Um, anybody knows how to flat foot dance? This is your time to jump up and cut a rug. If you don't, you can just freeform it. We are in Fayette County, so you know, anything goes. All right, here we go. Uh, Tessa Dillon on the fiddle over here. She's gonna play You Piney Mountain.
little down and dirty, get a little greasy. Um, there's a lot of blues that are played on the fiddle too, so we're going to play a blues tune on the fiddle, traditional fiddle tune called Carroll County Blues. And then we're going to go into a, uh, a, a tune about illicit substances. So, but it's, it's family friendly because this is about what not to do. Remember that, kids. This is a warning. And this is a song from my old band, played in a band for many years ago. Some of y'all might have heard of them, uh, called Old Crow Medicine Show. I still like to play some tunes from that band, so we're gonna do a little medley now, so we hope you enjoy it. We're gonna start with the Carroll County Blues. I know. Staying up till four in the morning playing really did a number on my forearms. Tell it to me, you drink corn liquor, let the cocaine be. 
It's entertainment. 
<laughs> well, how about another good old fashioned West Virginia fiddle tune? Set Miss Dylan loose. We got a lot of family in the audience tonight. Sure do. Tess's dad's out there. My son and his best friend are sitting right there. And we're all gonna go whitewater rafting tomorrow. And uh, it's gonna be a good time, so. Frankie's a little nervous about it. Frankie, don't have to be nervous, man. It's cool. We will, we'll be very careful. down to Walmart in Summersville yesterday and bought the little floaty things and yeah it's cool I got floaties for everybody so that'll keep us up right <laughs> it's only six miles from Thurman to Fayette Station all right <laughs> let's play another tune thank you all for listening to us thank you so much and Thanks for having us here and having this event. It's awesome. What a cool place and what a, what a nice thing to get started when we pulled into town. I haven't been here since uh, since this was built. It just, it's a nice, nice place. Yeah, things are changing in a positive way and we're really happy to see that. So congratulations and uh, thank you for having us. All right, let's rock it. Let's do it. This one's called Dance All Night with a Bottle in Your Hand. Another warning. <laughs>
a great little tune, old time tune from the 1920s, recorded by uh, an artist named Charlie Poole from North Carolina. He was a rambler, he was a gambler, he was a fighter, he was, and he played banjo, of course. <laughs> This is a really cool tune. We were just uh, at Charlie Pool Fest a couple weeks ago down in North Carolina, and we got to play this tune. This one's called Goodbye Booze.
play another fiddle tune here. This one's called Birdie. Chance already mentioned uh, Allegheny Echoes, which is an old time and bluegrass music fiddle camp. But uh, yeah, if you're interested in, in trying to pick up an instrument or learn a little bit about what we're doing up here, Allegheny Echoes is a great place to start. Yeah, we, um, we love playing music and we love sharing the music with other people, and uh, part of that is teaching. So it's a lot of what we do too is show people. Uh, traditional old-time music from West Virginia and um, try to keep the tradition alive because um, you know it's something you want to pass on we're lucky enough to have some great great mentors over the years some living legends in traditional West Virginia music um, speaking of we haven't done a canal tradition tune yet but we just wear your arm completely off Let's do it. Um, so there was a very, very famous virtuoso fiddler in the 1920s and 30s who had a massive recording career, um, sold millions of records that were just fiddle tunes, and his name was Clark Kessinger. And he was from, Woo! I know, crickets. Go Google Clark Kessinger later on. 
you'll be glad you did. And um, there's a famous story about uh, Clark Kessinger. You know, folk music kind of died out. It used to be the pop music of America, and then, uh, you know, as things came along, one music got popular, another one faded. So you had rock and roll came along, and all of a sudden nobody wanted to play fiddle or banjo anymore. That wasn't cool. So a lot of these artists that had had massive recording careers in the 1920s and 30s, by the 50s, they were embarrassed to play the, their own traditional music anymore because it wasn't popular. It's kind of like old fashioned and not cool. Um, it's kind of like your grandma with a flip phone, you know? It's like, what's going on here? I don't know, I guess flip phones are cool now too, so. Um, so anyways, um, the governor of West Virginia discovers this old record from the 1920s, a 78 RPM. And it's this incredible music, he's never heard this before, and it's this amazing fiddler named Clark Kessinger. And he's so excited that he runs into this room, he's in the governor's mansion, and there's this guy up on a ladder up there, painting the ceiling in the governor's mansion. The governor runs in, and he says, you'll never believe what I've discovered, it's this incredible record of this fiddler. And the guy's up there painting the ceiling, yep, yep, okay. And he says, you gotta hear this. Painter's just like, okay, sure, put it on. Record player was right there. So he puts on this record and he hears this incredible fiddle music come out and the governor's dancing around saying, this is, a, this is a legend of folk music that has disappeared. We don't know who this guy is. And he looks up at this painter, he says, do you have any idea who this fiddle player is? And the guy on the ladder says, yeah, that's me. Clark Kessinger had been painting houses after his recording career. He just happened to be there when the governor rediscovered his music and it reignited his career. If you can imagine taking a 40 year break from music and then coming back in your 70s and being a living legend. And this guy went on to play huge concerts all around the United States, sold out crowds at all these universities in the 1960s and went to every fiddle contest and every fiddle contest he played in, he won. It was a clean sweep, blue ribbons from one side of the country to the other. And uh, there was another very talented fiddler that grew up in the Kanawha Valley named Bobby Taylor, and he was lucky enough to learn from Clark Kessinger. And Bobby Taylor is still around, still doing his thing, still playing square dances, still fiddling. And Tessa over here was lucky enough to grow up just a few miles away from Bobby Taylor's house, and Bobby Taylor took Tessa under his wing and taught him, taught her, he taught her <laughs> <laughs> everything he knew. So Tessa has a long line of fiddlers in the tradition here. And um, she's gonna play a tune that uh, Bobby taught her and that Bobby learned from Clark Kessinger. So we're going back a good hundred years now, one fiddler to another. And this one's called Durang's Hornpipe. Durang's Hornpipe.
tunes, but new tunes come into the tradition too. And this is a tune my old band wrote and has become uh, part of the folk repertoire. Let's play a little wheel. So many fiddles. Why do you need so many fiddles? Is it just to show off? I'm pretty sure it's just to show off, right? Yeah. <laughs> she, never, she never plays them all at once, so if you're staying for that, uh, you can come back at eight for the other beat. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a, a tune my old band wrote, and um, this started as a traditional tune uh, that was recorded by Big Bill Brunzi in the 1920s. And then Bob Dylan ripped it off from him and tried to turn it into a tune. And Bob Dylan kind of got a chorus going and then never finished it. And then my old bandmate, Catch Secor, um, from Old Crow Medicine Show, found a bootleg. And he took uh, the Bob Dylan chorus and wrote verses to it. Um, he was 16 years old at the time in high school and he was uh, thinking about his sweetheart who eventually he went on to marry. So this is a love song. We hope you enjoy it. Truck around a field, he had a nice long tour. Easy 
hit it west from the Cumberland Gap, the Johnson City, Tennessee. Well, I gotta get a move on, wait for the sun. Hear my baby calling my name, and I know that she's the only one. If I die in Raleigh, at least I will die free. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Yeah, rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey. You know, this song is kind of like another song I know. A song about West Virginia. I think we should do it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Almost heavy. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads take me home. So uh, we're going to play a couple more for you, and then we're going to make way for the headliner tonight. So stick around. Hope you enjoyed it so far. we got a couple more tunes for you. Yeah, Matt Mullins of The Bring Downs, they have a new album out. Give it up for them. That's great. It's awesome. You should buy it. If you can't afford it, you should listen to it somehow. Right. We'd like to let you know that... Um, all of the music you heard us play tonight is unavailable everywhere. So yeah, we, we have no recordings. So we have no recordings. Don't bother looking. And nothing for sale. So uh, just want to get that out there. I think I've got beer on. Beers. You have beer spilled on your fiddle. Yeah. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between a fiddle and a violin? There's a couple, a couple jokes. I tell some people, well, the difference between a fiddle and a violin is about $5,000. And the other joke you can tell is, a violin has never had beer spilled inside of it. But a fiddle definitely has. I'm authentic now. <laughs> 
No, you got that cred. You got that authentic cred. Well, um, I'm Chance McCoy, and I'd like to uh, say thank you to these wonderful musicians playing with me over here on bass, Lars Swanson. From Hinton, West Virginia. Um, and over here from St. Albans, Miss Tessa Dillon. Hopefully, if everything goes good next weekend, we'll be Tessa McCoy. We'll see. I gotta behave myself till then. You know, once that marriage license is signed, all bets are off. That's right. A violin has strings, and a fiddle has strings. <laughs> you know, I played at the Clay Center a year ago, and you know, banjo jokes are really famous. Uh, jokes about banjo players and drummers, those are really popular amongst musicians. And so this guy told me a banjo joke I'd never heard the other day. <laughs> he says, what do you call 5,000 attorneys and 5,000 banjo players at the bottom of the sea? I said, I don't know. He says, a good start. That's a dark one, folks. <laughs> he told me that while I was holding banjo in my hand. All right, I learned this from, um, I also play fiddle too and banjo. And uh, I learned this from a wonderful mentor of mine. His name's James Bryan. He taught me this tune called Willow Creek, and I taught it to Tessa, so we're gonna play it for you now.
Thank you all again for having us. Let's hope the rain doesn't move in. It certainly feels nice out right now. This is an old traditional tune called Danville Girl. Thank you all folks so much. You ready for Matt Milton?